90 Day Fiancé star Jovi Dufresne has much in common with film and literature's most menacing killer clowns. Is his playful grin hiding a dark side? Jovi Dufresne's unpredictable behaviors damaging his relationship with Yara Zaya. Jovi's party boy lifestyle and chaotic ways call to mind killer clowns like Pennywise and the Joker. Under Jovi's sunny facade, there's menace. Yara's emotional wounds are real, and they're the result of Jovi's flirtations with strippers. Can she really forgive him for everything he's done? 90 Day Fiance star Jovi Dufresne seems like a lovable clown, but his flaws are turning him into a monster. In cinema and literature, killer clowns like Pennywise from Stephen King's It, or the Joker in his henchman, wreak havoc. While they do, the smiles rarely leave their faces. Like them, Joey seems sunny enough, but under that toothy grin, there's more than a touch of menace. What of the 90 day? The last resort season one stars at a strip club or playing the family man. There's always some slate of hand. When he reaches deep into his bag of tricks, it's hard to predict what will happen next. That's why his relationship with Yara Zaya has so many twists and turns. While she's often charmed by her boyish mate, she's been burned by the man who loves to frolic with his posse. Like the Joker, Jovi's all about high-energy mayhem. Reality TV show star Jovi's appetite for destruction has drawn blood. It's left Yara in tears. While 90 Day fiances Jovi Dufresne's unable to morph into any physical form, as Pennywise the dancing clown can, the 90 DF icon's a very deceptive individual. Jovi never lurked in a storm grate, waiting to trick a boy and rip his arm off. However, he's known for personality shifts that really hurt his wife. Like an insane clown in an amusement park bumper car, Jovi's all about the wild ride. His 180s are legendary, such as when he made a big show out of maturing after becoming a father. For a while, it seemed like he really changed. He went out of his way to honor his wife and child at Instagram. He appeared to be present as a husband and father. Earlier, in 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, Season 6, he was out of control. The party boy Jovi was grappling with true adulthood, and he was chafing at the restrictions. However, his heart surely melted when he held his daughter, Myla, for the first time. That kind of overpowering and unconditional love's life-changing. Nonetheless, the mature Jovi slid back into his models and bottles lifestyle. When he felt trapped in the house with Yara, he lashed out. I mean, I miss the old Yara. You were fun. Don't get me wrong, you're being a good mom, but at the same time, like you're not fun. I know we need to do it to fix our relationship. We need to have just one good weekend where we can go out and have fun and stay up past 7 o'clock at night. I want this life. But at the same time, you need to stop being a crazy mom and thinking that you can't leave your baby. Yara did have some rules that were tough for Jovi and his relatives to follow. In Jovi's defense, Yara made it hard for her nearest and dearest to enjoy life after Myla arrived. For example, she invited Jovi's mom over, but wanted the woman out of her home at a ridiculously early hour, so Myla's sleep schedule could be maintained. Gwen Einard spent a long time behind the wheel before she got to Jovi and Yara's home. She should have been welcome to spend the night if she wanted to. Nonetheless, Jovi has a lot to apologize for. His party energy never fades, but it's not harmless. So many times, Yara's been emotionally wounded by her wayward partner. He's got some significant weaknesses that keep fraying their relationship. The actors that portrayed the Joker took their roles seriously, as per screen rant at YouTube. However, they knew that a certain lighthearted quality was needed. The Joker's an intoxicating blend of shadow and sunlight. His reckless forays into evil always have comedic twists. Whether he's showing off the terrifying effects of Smilex or acting deranged in a nurse's dress, he's putting on one hell of a show. Often, the horrible things the Joker does mesmerize precisely because the villain acts so silly. The Joker's unique brand of gore theater features a touch of corny Las Vegas kitsch that's totally irresistible. It creates a contrast that's stark, dramatic, and hypnotic. While Jovi's not bloodthirsty like the Joker, 
He loves to get a rise of out of fans. In a Joker-esque fashion, he riles up his haters. For example, Jovi's not shy about posing with cocktails in hand, even though he knows full well that people look down on him for loving booze. When he does grin while holding an alcoholic beverage, he's passively aggressively leaning into the villain